Hello all! Courtney Lyons here with Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Today we're going to- well, first, I totally cut my finger. I know that band-aid looks awful. It's just- an, it's not an old band-aid, but it's like an old band-aid. Like it's new, but it's old packaging. <laughs> so it's just falling apart. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing um, an unboxing of what I want to do for Mermaids and Magic. So we're going to do an unboxing of which is Flower Shop, and I picked this up in the last release. Um, I love Mrs. Butter D, and I really liked how this one is a little bit different. It just has a lot of more muted pastel colors that I really love. So, yeah, let's pop this open. So, not only is this going to be a um, an unboxing, I am also going to be doing um, the kitting up and show you the first square. Like, it's not going to be a super long video. I'm not going to show you the whole kitting up, but you'll see it kitted up, and then you'll see the first square done. So here's the tiny sticker. Um, I am doing a voiceover. I was, oh my gosh, that was so loud. I'm in the car because <laughs> sometimes I have to film in here or at least voiceover in here. So this is the sticker sheet. Um, there were a surprising amount of colors. I didn't think there would be this many, but we have, uh, I think it's the four ABs and the three fairy dust colors. So, so cute. <clears throat> My voice still is not back. <laughs> All right, pulling out the drills. The nice thing about being like, doing the voiceover is you won't hear the crinkling plastic. And it has like a lot of special drills as well. Look at that color palette. I should have turned it around, do I? It might. And actually, once it's cracked open, it has a surprising amount of bright colors. Look at some of these colors. Look at that pink and red and like it has pops of bright color. And you'll see once we get to the end. Um, and I'm doing one of like the darker areas too. And it's oh, so colorful already. Like it makes me really want to do like a Christopher Lavelle or a um, Enos Guerrero. Guerrero. Because their artwork is very, it has a lot more monotone to it. But it still... Like, the drills are so pretty. Like, I just, I've found that there is not one color I get tired of. Ever. Even when I do browns or grays. Like, and blacks are just, they're so shiny that they're just a joy to work with as long as they don't have too much trash. But, oh, here's our first fairy dust. Sorry. And then there are actually a ton in the row. Here's the, there's a fairy dust there. I think there's, like, three fairy dust. And then an AB. And then the other fairy dust right there. Oh, no, there's the two fairy dust right here. And the 1AB. And they're all like yellows and very similar amounts. Sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, anyway, I just don't get tired of any of those drill colors. This is Ecru, and that's just like means it has no dye because DMC code just follows along with the floss colors for cross stitch. So there's 124. That is the um, purple AB. Oh, it's so pretty in person. I did try, try to change the coloring on my video so that it, um, oh, there's the other AB, white. That's like in almost every <laughs> Diamond Art Club painting because it does a really good job at highlighting. Um, anyway, I tried to uh, change the coloration of the video. And there's the last fairy dust. It's so pretty. And there's a ton of that one too. Um, just because it wasn't showing the colors really well when I first took the video. But I think it got a little bit more true to what it actually looks like. Okay. <clears throat> Ta-da! It's so cute. She's just like, I love flowers, and I love witches, and it's just, and I love those. I ended up, you'll see, putting, a, like, an army green washi taper on the edge, and it works so perfectly. Just this color palette is so much fun. But it's, I think, this one did not, um... Oh, here, I'm showing you the perforated edge right here which guys after this is the first time I've worked with that and I loved it there's definitely a lot of people that are like loved it or hated it anyway this one didn't sell out as quickly as I'm sure like all of the other buttered Mrs. Butter D paintings did because she's very popular and I think a big part of it is just the muted color tone isn't everybody's thing okay so first let's see where this 124 AB is and you're gonna see it um, I'm pretty sure it's in these flowers right here, just around the edge. 
up there. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like a balloon or like a, um, like an orb or whatever. Okay, and the, the, yeah, there wasn't a lot of that one. Um, and that one is the white dot, and you'll see it in her face, in the glasses over here. By the way, my camera stand is just demolished. It got so broken. Yeah, it's where I'm pointing out the ABs. And it sucks. <laughs> and I need to get a new one. But I, I put, like, a bunch of duct tape over the top of it. And so now I can't move it from the one, like, direction. And then still my baby managed to knock it over. And I had to do a voiceover because I was doing this when my kids were still running around. So um, there might be a few times it gets knocked into. Because that's life. I'm actually about to head to the gym right now, and I'm doing the voiceover before I go in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, this is the 129. And you're going to see that um, over here in the flowers. This is the AB. Right here in her necklace, which I am I have some metallic. I might play with her jewelry and add a little bit of oomph to that jewelry. I'm showing where it is there. And now this is going to be the fairy. No, no, this is the AB. That was a fairy dust. This is the AB. Let's look at it. It's the AB. <laughs> it's a green AB, and that's where you're going to see it is in the plants. I love hanging plants, too. I actually did a macrame hanging plant thing. It was so much fun. I gave it to my aunt. I should make another one. It was a lot of fun. Macrame is so much fun. I was a macrame kick for a little while. It's very therapeutic, too. You're just tying knots over and over and again. <laughs> okay, this is the fairy dust color. <clears throat> it's like that buttered yellow fairy dust. It's really pretty. I'm pretty sure we had that one in um, Satura, too. It might be more buttery in this one. Like, it more deeper of a yellow. You're going to see it in the jewelry. Um, I'm pretty sure you see it on the outline over, too. I don't know if I missed that. On her shoulders and stuff of this witch. Yeah, I don't know if I showed that, but it, it's. I'm pretty sure it's there. On her shoulders and, like, on her arm. There's a lot of distractions going on in the background. <laughs> so I might miss a few of these places. But I'm working on it right away, so you guys will see. You will see. I'm really excited. Mermaid, mermaids and Magic. It just... What a fun one. I, I, I put my entry in um, to participate... But I won't be, I don't, I won't be um, participating with any of the prizes. Um, I am participating in the Bella Art one um, because that was a heck of a lot of work <laughs> to go and watch like 21 videos because Bella Art to Nicole is doing a bunch of new designs. And uh, I, th I thought that would be really fun to go in and watch all of them. Okay, this is the last fairy dust and I'll show you where that is. Just watch where I point. This is so pretty. I love it. But, um, yeah, so it, you have to go and watch these unboxings because they have, like, what, 34 kits come out? And they're all so gorgeous, and I want the fox ones. Lately, I just want everything fox. Like, they're so dinky. I've always loved foxes, but, um, especially lately for some reason, there's just something about all the diamond paintings that come up. I always gravitate to the fox ones, and I'm just loving it. Um, but... Anyway, for this giveaway, you have to go and watch all the videos, and the keywords were so hard to find in the videos, because there's, I mean, I don't sit and watch videos, like, I just can't, unless I'm doing something else, because I have so much that goes on in my life. My life is very busy right now, and it's insane, and I probably need to kick back a little bit, because, uh, yeah, homeschooling, and um, church stuff, and just school stuff in general, um, I mean, being a mom <laughs> with a baby, and, and then now this diamond painting channel, and so I'm so busy all the time, and, uh, so I really need to, so when I listen to him, I don't sit and listen to the whole thing, I mean, I do, but, you know, I get distracted, um, so if I miss the keyword, I'm like, oh, and I gotta go back and look for it, so it took forever, sorry, I hope you guys are following along with <laughs> me showing you the specials, <laughs> kind of turning into just, like, a, a unbox and chat I guess <laughs> that's fun 
but yeah and so I I went through that whole thing and plus it's it's not um you know it's a company doing a giveaway rather than um an, a fellow diamond painting channel doing a an event and so that's why with that was my long way of saying that's why with mermaids and magic I'm not going to be going for the prizes but Bella Art and Nicole was like hey I did all this work of watching the videos I'm you know and it's from a new to me company I'd love to try out their stuff I can't I, and then you know it's really kind of good for them if I do get their stuff because then I show it to you guys and it's good for you guys because then you get to see it all right um plastic is great it's very sticky um I did notice that because of the perforated cover when you pull back the perforated cover here's the pan over I'm not doing music to it this time but I did notice that the perforated cover, when you pull it back, kind of pulls on the glue and leaves a line. But um, as far as I could tell, it doesn't make any difference. It's not, it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything to the glue. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Look at that cute earring. The expression on both her faces are so cute. And I love how she's lifting the flower up with her hand. And of course there's flowers. This one was just a must for me because of the flowers and the coloration. I was just surprised it wasn't gone super, super fast. But once you get down into working on the colors, oh my gosh, <laughs> my ghetto setup. <laughs> Beautiful painting. All right, so now this is what I use for kitting up um, for this one. It's the same one I use for Satura. And... I kind of was using this for Satura because I jumped the gun and wanted to use it when I was still waiting for my um, Elizabeth Ward system to come in. Because I really wanted to use Elizabeth Ward with Satura. But I ended up loving this system. I really, really, really like it. So this is this and Elizabeth Ward are my favorite storage systems that I've tried so far. <sighs> I just really like the circle the, where you screw off the top better than the snap. Um, especially since Elizabeth Ward ones get a little bit tight and sticky. But I have, I have the tubes also that I'm using for my, um, oh, here, I'm going to show you what I, I'm going to start with, sorry, enough with the storage stuff. Let me show you what I'm going to do with my kidding up. So I'm going to start right here with the smallest to largest. I find that works the best because then... I don't know. That's the way you don't run out of it as quickly. So here I am. I take the... And this is just a quick thing. I'm not going to show you the whole kit up. I do have a video, which I can link down below, of a kitting up that I've done. Um, from start to finish. So you can see how I kit up. And that one is in the Elizabeth Ward system. Um, and this one, I these, these first few, I do put the sticker on first. Because I'm like, it's for sure going to fit in there. But a lot of times I won't put the sticker on until after I've put the drills in just in case it's not going to fit in that container if I'm not sure. So that's a good trick to know. Also, this kit did not have a lot of static. And I think I say that later on because this whole thing is not voiced over. Some of it at the end is um, voiced during the video. But uh, I, I'm just showing you how I use these dryer sheets so that Thing that I was holding up earlier is just a dryer sheet it's a little piece cut off and if you do get static and we did have a little bit of them on this some of them you just rub it on the inside and around in the drills and it helps so much and it's so fast I do want to get some other dryer sheets that smell better though I mean I'm just getting tired of this smell like always smelling dryer sheets all right so it is all kitted up and guys I know I was saying this was like a lot of neutrals I mean, yes, but there are some really pretty bright colors in here. I mean, look at this one right here. It's And it's not showing up on camera the way it should. This, oh my gosh, I love this color so much. It's showing up as more orange, but it's, it's more of a peach. I might try to be able to fix that on the camera. So, um, like I usually do, I just ordered it in how I thought the colors looked best together. And um, I just, I love all these different army greens and stuff. It's just gorgeous. Uh, and then, yeah, the small ones are kind of hard to do. But like I usually like to do, I like to keep specials near each other. So I had five right here. And then uh, just the one right there. So, um, but yeah, they wouldn't have all fit together in the same place. But at least these are all in the same place. And yeah, um, beautiful kitted up. 
I'm probably going to put it on uh, fast motion of me actually doing the square. Now I have to decide where I want to start. Probably at the bottom. Maybe I'll do this chick. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. That'll be fun. This cute little chick. Oh, before that, before I get started on that, I did want to show you uh, I filled out my journal entry for it. So today's the 7th is when I'm starting it. Um, I event Mermaids of Magic. And then my post review, trash, you know, the post review video. Um, four ABs, three fairy dust. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so bad. Um, resin drill type. Um, I always say what my favorite color is at the end. My overall and 2024 finish, which will be filled out. I give myself much room. Um, all these other things, enough drills, enhancements. I haven't decided yet on enhancements. Um, honestly, Kate does such a great job over at um, Diamond Art Club with the enhancements. I never really feel the need to add more, but I am getting in a bunch of Electro Diamonds. Ooh, except they're all in square, so maybe never mind. I don't know, I guess I could do square on here. I don't know, uh, because I like like her jewelry. Um, you can see right, oh my gosh, we're tipping. This whole time I didn't realize we're tipping. This thing is such a mess, guys, I need a new one. Um, her earrings and her necklace and kind of this area right here, I'm getting some, some pink ones. I thought that'd actually be really cool to put um, the, whatever it's the, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say Electro because it's Electro for Diamond Art Club. Metallic. <laughs> I thought that'd be really cool to put some metallic in there somewhere, except I'm going to have square metallics and not round. But you do have some metallic gold already. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I decide on that. So that one's left blank. And then here's some notes. I had a ton of robe drills. I forgot to say that. Did I say that? But there was hardly any static. But so many of these have random color drills. You can't even see it from right here. But almost every single bag, not even kidding not being dramatic, almost every single bag had a drill that wasn't supposed to be in there. Look, there's one right there. Oh, let's see, it has some greens in there. Everything had something. Oh, static-y. There was some static, but I, it's not nearly as bad as I've been seeing with a lot of kits, so. Okay, um, I don't think I'll fast motion it, guys. It's too hard to, uh, I, just want, I just want to enjoy it, honestly. So I will just show you an update right here okay this was such a joy to do i completely understand now why people love doing mrs butter d and um hannah lynn pictures or paintings or canvases where you have the outline that you put down first and then you just fill in the rest it was so much fun and because it was around that actually went pretty fast um, not that I'm like into having things be quick. I'm a little crooked here on the head. I'm not like super into having things be quick on diamond painting because I just like to enjoy it. But there was a ton of joy of just going in there with a multi blazer and putting in and just like snip, snap, 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 <laughs> snip, snap. That's like from the office. <laughs> but you know what I was trying to say? Um, where you just go in and you just do it and. You're like, whoa, <laughs> it was really, really fun to do that. So, um, yeah. Also, these rounds are so good. The last Diamond Art Club rounds I did, and the only ones actually, were the Gerber vase that I have and that I did. And they're sparkly and they're beautiful. They were really, really good. I don't think that the grid was the same because there was a lot of gapping in that grid. And this one just fits so nicely and perfectly it's like working on my distracted by diamonds canvas that one has a really good grid where everything just snaps in really well same with this one um the drills are i have to say that there are like it's very muted in tone overall but there are a lot of really bright colors you work with um so i'm loving that and oh also first time that i've worked with this perforated paper or plastic, I mean. I've just been reading a lot. A lot of people are like hating it. <laughs> and I love it. And it wasn't an issue that it went over the edge. Because when I got to that part, I just kind of pulled it up a little and put the drills right underneath. 
and and then you don't have any glue hanging out over the sides so all right my voice has had it tonight i i don't know how i'm gonna sing in like a week so hopefully i can if not i'm not sure what i'll do um but yeah this was a lot of fun and that was the unboxing the kidding up and the first square of um the, what is this one called how did I, a witch's flower shop that's right Okay, now that I've like done one of Mrs. Better Deed and I already love the artwork, I absolutely have to get, have to get Artist Bedroom and um, Underwater Train. I really want those two. And I already have Mermaid Bedroom, which is a lot of fun. Okay, my voice is shot. Thanks guys for joining me. Bye.